hi guys it's princess and welcome to my channel i have been going for a minute now i think it's been two weeks probably a little bit more than two weeks since i have been gone and i am finally back and i'm just gonna be talking about why i have been gone and from the title of the video um there's obviously some stuff i need to talk about so before we start getting into like the weight gain or stuff like that i wanted to talk about like why i have been gone um because i know i've been like trying to stay consistent where i was doing like two videos a week and then i started doing one video and then i done disappeared because yeah we're gonna talk about it so the main reason why i've been gone was because i was just job hunting I was just like, you know, looking on Indeed and job hunting is like a full-time job. Like, I didn't realize it because I like wake up, go on my computer and then uh, look for jobs, apply. And then that was it. Um, and then I had some interviews I had to go to. And let me tell you, this whole pandemic happening is just like everyone is looking for a job. And it's kind of hard for me when I'm like changing career path where I'm just like, I was a substitute teacher and then I was just like, well, I'm trying to get back into customer service and it's just, it's just crazy. Where it's just like, everybody's like, not, like a lot of people like out of work. And so there's like a lot of people who probably have a lot more experience than me um, who would get the job versus if it was just like not a pandemic, I'd probably be given more of a chance. But yeah, that's not what it is. I just been applying, 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 and yeah. So within that time, I'm just like stressing up. Oh, I want to get a job, and I wanted to gain more experience into my belt because I want to do YouTube. But YouTube probably, probably won't be my full time job. I'm acting like it's not my full time job because I'm not getting paid from YouTube. Um, so um, <laughs> I just wanted to get back into working and build up my resume because um, being a stay at home mom does not help your resume at all whatsoever. It makes you look like trash with having gaps and not previous work experience. So I was like, I need to get a job. <laughs> so yeah, between the time of my last video uploaded between now, well not now because actually I've been doing good since Tuesday. Yeah um i have just been like not eating the best with the whole worry about applying places so i've just been stress eating um <laughs> and just like not doing good and youtube has definitely helped me like keep accountability of my actions and with me not filming and keeping you guys updated i have been slacking so that's why i love, love about youtube it's just like it's making me stay on track making me do what i need to do and and also like me like gaining weight has shown like um i don't have as much self-control as i thought i did have uh, <laughs> so i definitely need to do better because i'm like out of all these tips i'm sitting here giving you guys and i'm not sitting here listening because i need to sit here and realize like it's not easy and that's exactly what i wanted to this video because it's not easy you are going to probably like slack off but as long as you get back up and you're like okay it's time to get it together then it's a little bit okay <laughs> so i have a video of the day i did bad like this is the very start of the day i did bad but i only filmed um my breakfast and lunch i didn't film what i had for dinner you girl eat pizza for dinner okay but i'm gonna go ahead and show you that guys that video and also before that video plays i also did show you guys a grocery haul video so i have like a grocery haul video um, I showed you guys what I ate for breakfast, I showed you guys what I ate for lunch. I just didn't film my dinner and I had pizza for dinner from Papa John's. So, um, yeah, I have to go ahead and show you guys that video. So starting off with all these, I got two bags of the jumbo shrimp and it's peeled, divine, and tailed on. Got some Mexi Cali. I've been eating this like for like I I got this like two other times, so it's like really good. Um, I have to alfredo sauce i love me some alfredo some grits this is for like when i'm like i don't care about the carbs type of thing because i think it has like 29 grams of carbs got some strawberries and some watermelon spears and here is something sweet you know i have to have something sweet so dark chocolate sea salt caramels these are really good i already tried some um and here i have some salmon and I have bread, of course, because your girl is not scared of no carbs. Nope. So we have our bagel skinny. Probably like a breakfast sandwich out of this. 
um, with some like egg sausage. I don't know. I'll probably show you guys in a future video. And then I have some regular honey wheat bread. And then I seen this, which is it says zero carb wheat bread, but um, it got carbs in it. I don't know why I say it's so zero carbs. I guess it's saying basically eat zero carbs. I don't know because one slice is 40 calories and it has nine grams of carbs, but yeah. Oh, and it has a good amount of fiber and protein. So, yep, got this. And then for some drinks, have some lemonade. It's like three servings. And so it's like 15. And yeah, really good. And then some cranberry. And this is like really good as well. And then I have some of these um, Parmesan garlic herb pita chips. They also have like a plain sea salt ones, which I always usually get. But yeah, I see this one. I was like, oh my God, I have to try this. And, I'm, and I used to eat the pita chips with this and these two are so good so yeah and then i got some oh snap um pickles i don't know i've just been seeing so many people have like the cotton candy with the pickles and i'm like okay i'm just craving pickles now so i decided to get some pickles and let me see right here it tells you like i guess like one serving which is like per container it's like 15 calories mainly in this mainly in the sodium damn sodium i don't know what i was thinking when i got these then um <laughs> but yeah um this is what i got i don't know about them pickles i should have looked at that before i got it um but we just gonna be probably having like that one probably have like a few pickles and then save the rest for the next day something like that but yeah here's like a little overview of everything that i did get from aldi's okay so this is stuff i got from aldi's nothing really new or special just got reduced fat cheese got two of them some more broccoli i got some fat i got some 89 percent fat free cream of mushroom i'm planning on making my terrace hot casserole tonight so yeah i got this and I got some more, can I believe it's not butter? You know, if you don't know already, it's zero calories for no matter how many spurs you want to do. And I have some skinny cow ice cream, you know, when you want something sweet. Got some whole grain pasta, reduced fat um, club crackers. And I got the crackers because I have some tuna and my husband plans on making some um, type of tuna dip. So yeah, got some crackers for that. And then of course my favorite barbecue sauce that I love using. And I have, and then I seen this and I was like, ooh, I should try this. Even though I'm like, not like a big coffee person. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try this. I've seen like a lot of fall stuff. So I put on getting like a lot of fall stuff. And now here's the stuff I got from Walmart. I mainly got all my meats from Walmart. And I got two packs of this ground beef. And it's 93% lean, 7% fat. Have some lean turkey. Some well, I have some lean ground turkey, some chicken thighs, some chicken wings, and some chicken breasts. You can never have too much meat. So yeah, I also got some more tater tots for like my casserole I was making tonight. And have some more sugar-free. Um I have some more no sugar added ketchup. And then here I have I have two soda waters and these are the two flavors that I decided to get. And that's all I really got from Walmart. everything i ate that breakfast sandwich is like really good it tastes good when you dip it in ketchup so that's just a tip if you ever want to make it just dip it in ketchup and it tastes like really good but yeah with the so what i was talking about the whole job honey thing your girl got a job i started monday i'm in training for like three weeks but with the whole schedule i can film videos and stuff like that because i have weekends off um for now um but 
in the meantime i do have like a little schedule where we get lunch and sometimes like they just be talking because it's like i have like a zoom type of training and right now they just be talking i'm just like ready to go to sleep <laughs> um but yeah i am i did get a job i am in training so i can like make a, a new schedule and like make a schedule around everything and not feel lazy and just sit on my computer all day and stuff like that so um yeah now i was having to talk about my weight gain and hmm so i came back from my trip i came back from um visiting my family like a little vacation on sunday and i thought about your girl was not eating healthy at all whatsoever like during that whole two weeks um so i think on tuesday i weighed like 197 and i say 197 i was like you gotta be kidding me like basically like 10 pounds in two weeks i was like what what i was like mm, is it this water weight people be talking about where they gain water weight when they did bath for like at least three days. I'm like, what is this? And but then I weighed myself on Wednesday, and but I was doing. I'm doing good this week. I'm like getting back on track. I'm like doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So Wednesday I weighed myself, and I weighed 195. I'm like, okay, cool. And then today, which is Thursday, I weighed myself, and I weighed 190. One, I weighed 192.5. So it's just like, am I losing water weight? I think I'm losing water weight at this point because there's no way you can lose that much weight that fast. So it has to be water weight I'm losing. And I definitely like do not feel bloated anymore because when I got back, I was like super bloated. And I was just like, I'm not bloated no more. So that's awesome. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like letting you guys know, like I'm getting back on track. I can do what I'm supposed to be doing. And I will be having videos back up for you guys. Um, and speaking of videos, I just wanted to film this video before I start my other video later on today, which not even later on today, right when I get done with this video, I will be filming a what I eat in a day video um, for you guys today. So um, that'd be like a whole separate video, probably uploaded like this weekend. I don't know yet, um, but it will be this this week. I'm just happy I ain't back in the 200s. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just like, I'm not back in 200s, I'm 192, let's get it, let's go. <laughs> so so yeah if you're going to continue following my journey then make sure you like and subscribe and i also made a tiktok guys if i made a tiktok it's um the same as my instagram which is princess kaiser underscore um so i'm gonna make like two videos i need to make more videos but um yeah i do have a tiktok that i, that I made um so if you guys want to check that out you can everything will be um down in the description so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this little video of a little update in my life and are ready to see my what I eat in the day video probably this weekend. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.